Hey everybody, uh, it's early, uh, early, early morning here. Uh, I decided to do my video real quick to show you guys what I picked up in the last little while. Sorry, my birds are kind of loud. It's early in the morning, so they're tripping, like checking themselves out in the mirrors and making sure they're pretty. I'd show you them, but uh, they got a wicked glare off this thing. It's so early, I guess. Uh, last little while, I was I managed to pick up some action figures and stuff, and I got some cool stuff for Father's Day here. My wife picked them up for me. Uh, I got some Star Wars figures from Hot Wheels. You can see Disney down in the corner there in between my fingers. There's Disney right there. But they're really cool. They're little metal figures. They have little stands. You can put that little thing on your finger as well as run it around. kind of see it there. So I got Slave 1. I got uh, the uh, Snow Speeder. I also got the Millennium Falcon. And the, my favorite favorite fighter, the Y Wing. I don't know why I've always loved that fighter. The X Wing's cool and everything, but the Y Wing is my fighter. I like that fighter. And I managed to pick this up at Toys R Us as a Toys R Us exclusive. It was on real. It was on sale. They were just trying to blow them out. This is the best box they had. The, all the other boxes were just chewed or something. So it's a Marvel Legends figure kind of thing. Sorry about the glare, but you got the five figures inside. Looks really cool. Oops, sorry. Yeah, there's better. I thought that was pretty neat, so I picked it up for myself. Uh, one section. I'll put it all back where I found it. It was, a, it was a Toys R Us exclusive, so... And it was on sale. I wouldn't have paid full price. It was like, when it first came out, like, oh my gosh, it was super expensive. This was cute. I got this for my wife. I love this guy, too. Super Grover. Super cute. Uh, there's a bunch of them coming out, but I only want this one and Cookie Monster. They're my favorites. I managed to pick up a bunch of trades. Uh, I've read I've read this already. I haven't read my comics yet, but uh, it wasn't bad. I don't, I'm glad I didn't get it, but it wasn't bad. I also picked up... Uh, these were all on sale, so... Southern Bastard got this for $5. It kind of threw me up for a loop. I'm sure whoever's reading this is already finished reading it, but... The uh, he didn't the, the old man didn't die well in this the last issue uh, last part of the book here. It's a good book though I liked it. That makes me wish I picked it up. If if anybody's not watching this show already, uh, they should be checking it out. It's not like this is not like the uh, the comic at all the show, but this this was a good book as well. I just got the first trade just to try it out. It was it was kind of interesting. My fi uh, my favorite. Uh, part of this was one of the well I like the book but my favorite artwork for some reason was I want to see where is it now sorry I'm just trying to I really like this one art page where'd it go now oh jeez oh here it is I really love this art page for some reason I thought that was really kind of I'd, li I'd get a poster of that That'd be, that looks really cool it was a good story this is the first trade uh, I managed to pick up these guys. These were all on sale. I had one to three already, but I picked up uh, four to seven. I think they're out of order, though. Sorry. Uh, so this is like a standalone bunch of issues. This is the... Oops, it's going to fall here. This is uh, trade number seven. Trade number six. Trade number five. And trade number four, if I'm not looking at the side. Yeah, I'm not looking at the side. just guessing. It's a really good series. I know Travis uh, turned everybody onto this, but I didn't get onto it too, too late, so I figured I'd get the trades. And then they're all on sale, so I took them. I also got first five volumes of the Essentials, super cheap for uh, for my comic guy. So I got number one, number two. So they're, they're, they're a little different volumes, I think, but number three. So this is I love Avengers so much, I figured I should have the trades too, or the Essential trades. So it's four. And five. As you can see, some are different. They're different, I guess, uh, printings or whatever they did. Like, they upgraded the, the covers or whatever. But still, it was great to have them. Um, the comics I got from... One sec here. I'm going to put these back here, too. Oh, geez, so heavy. Oops, sorry, I'm going to put you real close to the book so I can get them straight. Uh, the comics I got this week were Outcast. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't, I haven't read these ones yet, but I'm hoping this picks up a little more. It's, it's a good book, but I hope it does something really cool. 
uh, not not cool, but I, mean, I don't know, just picks up a little bit. Uh, that was, what was that issue anyway? Number 9 of Outcast. And this is issue 30 of Judge Dredd. Looks really neat. And I also got, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to be picking up much of the Marvel stuff, I think. I don't know, some, it's, just, it's just really weird to me. I, I, I may pick up an issue here. This one we get for sure, where Monsters Dwell, number one. It's only five issue series, so I thought, oh, I like Monsters and stuff. I know how everybody's feeling about this. Um, this is the last issue of Convergence. I haven't read it. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, some back issues I picked, well, not back, some other issues from weeks before, Star Wars, I got the, uh, number five of C-3PO variant, the Guardians of the Galaxy, number 27, this one I did pick up, it was on my pick list, but I, I, I grabbed it because it was on the shelf, it was the, like, the Scotty Young Planet Hulk version, the variant, it looked really cute, that's the reason I picked it up, it wasn't a bad story, Devil Dinosaurs in it, and, uh, some other interesting stuff. Uh, Convergence number seven. Uh, this I am going to pick up the first five issues of. This was a great book, Haro Country. Wow, this looks really. I like the cover. Well, I love the cover, and the story was really good. The artwork was really cool. So, I also got the five ghosts. Now this is all like last week's and the week before, I think, comics. But Astro City and Lady Killer. This is a great series. I would definitely drop one of my series to pick this up. If it ever came out in its own series instead of the short run. I didn't care for this one too much. It was a good price, but didn't really care for it. East of West is... Oops, sorry about the glare there. East of West was good as always. And then Convergence 6. I'm not sure how far back I went in the last... You know, I think I did these ones already. So, I've already read these. I just have to enter them into my uh, CL, CLZ app. But I get behind them doing all this other kinds of crazy stuff and busy. At least I'm trying to keep up with my reading here. My uh, courses take up a lot of my time. And I got these because the guy was saying that there's up, up here where I live, they have a sale on these. And he gave, uh, he gave me the same deal that the, the chapters, they, they're selling them for $15 a piece. And my comic guy says he knows I buy these things, and he's, he gave me the same deal. So I got a bunch, and I got uh, some more waiting for me there. But I, I wanted to share these with you guys, because these things are just awesome. Um, oh, uh, yeah, that was... That's it. I picked up some DVDs, too, but I forgot to grab them. There, I picked up The Clone Wars, The Lost Season, uh, Lost Vid Episodes, Dominion... Um, what was that? Zombie Nation and uh, oh jeez, I forgot the last one. I forgot the last one. I got another DVD. I'll, sh I'll try showing them next next time. Uh, anyway, I couldn't I couldn't pass these up. I love these old stories and stuff like this. Yeah, the artwork is amazing and the stories are just great. So each one of these volumes has got like different volumes and different comics inside. So I, so I got Strange Worlds, volume number two. All pre-code stuff, like the Metal and Murderer. Like, there's actually a Joe, yeah, Joe Kubert uh, story in here where this guy, um, he goes to a different planet or something, and he all the women, he's not very attractive, or not very well liked, and all the women in that planet love him and all, all want to be with him. And he comes back to our world and no one wants anything to do with him. I can't remember the story. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can find it here real quick. Uh, no, I can't seem to see it. Sorry about that. Uh, I got Out of the Night, volume number three. Issues 13 to 17. Like, how can you go... Oops, I'm just going to move. My son has bought a sword from Terraria game, but he has to... To learn how to be responsible, he has to pay for it before he can open it. So he has to sip his allowance. Out of the night, see, I man, how can you beat that story? Uh, that uh, the, that artwork, the colors, the looks amazing. So that's out of the night. I also got the, this was a bigger book, volume one of the thing. 
and it's got all these issues in the back. I, I can't afford all these issues, obviously, so this is a great way to to get these. And it's just amazing books. Like they were like regular. Or they were super, super. Well, he had a, he had a wasn't a super high price, but can't, how could I pass up the price? So this is volume one. Uh, volume two. So this is issues ten to seventeen. Like that's amazing. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Those are all the issues inside. I have a lot. I have some of these books before. I was paying more for these books actually when he, a gentleman, came in to sell him to trade up, or to trade him in. I was actually paying. I was paying a lot more than that, and I was buying a few every time. But now I, I just couldn't pass up the thing. These are brand new, never touched. Uh, this is volume eight of Adventures into the Unknown. Issues 37, 43. This, I couldn't pass up these ones either. They heap. Volume 1. Look how cool that looks. I'm pretty sure that's Airboy. Pretty sure. Oh, awesome. Can't wait to read these. So that's Volume 1 of the heap. Volume 2 of the heap. Volume three of the heap. Oh, so cool. Uh, then I got a couple more for you. Uh, Planet Comics, volume six. I have one Planet Comic now. I showed it a while ago. But now I've actually got some uh, hardbacks here that I can look at and see. They've got uh, these issues inside. So this issues 21 to 24. And the last one i got to show you is this really cool one. I mean, 15 bucks a piece, couldn't pass it up. That it looks so cool. Oh, I love that spaceship down at the bottom. So volume 7, 25 to 29. And here's the covers on the back, it shows you. So that's about it. Uh, oh, I did pick up a, one sec here. I picked up the new version of uh, Epic Spell Wars 2 for my son and me. My son and I, I guess, I'm sorry. Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards Rumble at Castle Tentakill. The artwork in, this uh, the artwork in these things is just amazing. It's, like, like it's got some bad words and stuff in here, but he's getting old enough where he knows... I think the playground tells him more, story, more bad words that are, that are in here. That, that are that then are in here, but uh, now there's the there's the original one. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. I still have to make a video about this box of comics I bought over here. There's a whole bunch of them in there. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon, hopefully.